In this video we will learn what's new in the new version of Tesla SCADA 2.16. In this video, in this version, we add possibility to add new databases history. Preliminarily we created some text that support history. Now create database. You can create MySQL database or SQLite database. In this video, we will create a SQLite database named History Database. Uh, text will be saved periodically with 10,000 milliseconds. Storage period of the history information will be one week. Now let's add history information. Save information in this database. Okay. Now also add in this version possibility to do display this history information by using history tables. Let's place this table on the on our screen and choose our history database. You can see all information that we placed that we add in our history database. You can change column width. Now let's see this information. Choose date. And you can see how his information then collects periodically with 10,000 milliseconds. Or 10 seconds. You can save a report for this table. You can see this information in report, in table of report. Also, we add two object for separate buttons for reports. You can choose history database for save this report. Also, History max and minimal information of in the report. Let's choose other color of this report. And choose history. And let's see how it looks like. Choose date viewed. Let's 
seconds. It presents all informations, but also minimum value and maximum value, also average value. And on the report, mm -hmm. only minimum information and maximum information, also date of the minimum and maximum information. Also, in this version, we had possibility, we had new scripts. For servers, to change IP address or URL address of the server and to reconnect to this server. Let's do server. We have only one server, one more server. And let's input tag. We preliminarily create IP address tag, IP by type string, and connect to this script object. Next tag server server connect also choose number server one and input tag reconnect boolean type and let's create on the screen objects for changing this IP address and reconnect. Address and mm -hmm. buttons for reconnection. Connect control push type. Name connect. To test this possibility, let's call Tesla SCAD to run time. Change font size. Yes, data. Old database. Calls mistake. Hmm. We've connected 
change some values in our mobile server and let's change IP address we got other server on others on this address with the end of 115 connect and this values of the server zero let's change to Hundred. Connect to old server. And we connect to the old server. I think it will be useful for maintenance if you have similar servers with similar tags. You can change by changing IP address, maintain several controllers mm. also in this version we add we, we add other script objects let's create for this object two tags new tag count name count let's create for this Object digital method. And just boolean tag called bool. Don't bite this tag to the server. And in scripts. This two objects is based on triggers and counts library. It's multi vibrator and countdown. Choose multi vibrator, vibrator, and bind to input tag bool. When changing input from false to true, this multiplier with will uh, change output from true to false periodically with period in the second input. Will change period one thousandth milliseconds. Also choose other countdown script object and output of this of the multiplier bind to the input of countdown script object this value from which this countdown starts count start put will be count let's test just button bind to the bool And start counts from 30 to 0. When it becomes 0, it starts counts again. About <coughs> the connection possibility, you can bind the IP address tag to recipe. Let's look at how to do this. Choose name of the pi IP addresses. IP 
in this. <coughs> I left the name recipes. And now you can bind to the table like this. And also choose the type selector, bind to the also to the IP address. Let's see how it works. Open our project and start it. Add to the table our IP addresses. Name device number one. This IP address and device number two. This IP address let's select. And reconnect. You can see values of the second device. Or you can choose here by a type selector. Values of the mobile device one. Also, in the new version, we have possibility for new user safe control operations that lets you to see how the current operations change value uh, change values of the tag <coughs> in the text you should check alarms and en enable alarms to see pos this possibility let's add events table to look how user will be changed Values. You can see operator white value, value to it new value thirty seven and nine eight seven. Operator zero right value. Also, you can see this previous value, and you can see new value. 17. Okay, that's it. If you have any questions, please write in our forum or please email us.